Hi guys, welcome to ITTV. I am Mr. Wong, your English teacher. Do you remember what we learned in our previous lesson? We were talking about writing a summary and we looked at the main idea and the supporting details. After we went through the passage, we identified the main idea and we also identified the supporting details. We then formed sentences out of the main idea and supporting details. Now that we have all of these sentences, what we need to do is we need to put them together, paraphrase them into a summary that does not go over 130 words. Now, it is always a good idea to make sure that when you write a summary, you are sure that you follow the question. So all the aspects of the question, all the requirements of the question are covered. So we will begin by first reading the question, going through the passage, and then we will proceed to complete our summary. Summary question. The passage describes the application, usefulness and risks of acupuncture. Write a summary of the application, usefulness and risks of acupuncture. Your summary must start from the first paragraph, be in a continuous writing form, not be longer than 130 words, including the 10 words given below. Credit will be given for the use of your own words, but care must be taken not to change the original meaning. Begin your summary as follows. Chinese medical theory is that illnesses occur when the energy we will now begin by going through the passage again. Comprehension Passage Chinese medicine includes a vast array of folk medical practices based on mysticism. It holds the principle that the body's vital energy circulates through channels called meridians that have branches connected to bodily organs and functions. According to traditional Chinese medical theory, illness may occur when the energy flowing along one or more meridians is blocked or out of balance. So in this slide, we see the highlighted part of the passage. This is where we got our main point and supporting details. The goal of acupuncture is to restore health and balance the energy flow. What is acupuncture and how does it work? In traditional acupuncture, needles are inserted at specific locations called acupoints in order to restore healthy energy flow to the body. Needles are put just deep enough into the skin to keep them from falling out and are usually left in place for a few minutes. The acupuncturist may twirl the needles or apply heat or a weak electrical current to enhance the effects of the therapy. Originally, there were believed to be 365 acupoints corresponding to the days of the year. But the number identified during the past 2,000 years have increased gradually to about 2,000. Some practitioners place needles at or near the site of disease, while others select points on the basis of symptoms. In traditional acupuncture, a combination of points are usually used. Does acupuncture really cure illnesses? Most acupuncturists who hold the traditional Chinese view of health consider acupuncture, herbal medicine, and related practices to be valid approaches for the treating and curing of illnesses. Others reject the traditional approach and merely claim that acupuncture offers a simple way to achieve pain relief. Six pulse aspects said to correlate with body organs or functions are checked on each wrist 
to determine which meridians are deficient in energy. The conditions claimed to respond to acupuncture include chronic pain, neck and back pain, migraine, headaches, acute injury related pain, strains, muscle and ligament tears, gastrointestinal problems, indigestion, ulcers, constipation. Cardiovascular conditions, high and low blood pressure, muscle and nerve conditions, paralysis, deafness, and behavioral problems, overeating, drug dependence, and smoking. Although scientific evidence may not be strong, acupuncture can prove to be useful by itself or when combined with mainstream therapies to treat the illnesses mentioned. Moreover, Controlled clinical studies of electroacupuncture have suggested that it may help some people with pain after surgery and for those who have kidney stones. Acupuncture has become quite popular in the United States and Europe, where the technique is mainly used to control pain and relieve symptoms of disease, such as nausea caused by chemotherapy, but not to cure the disease itself. In 2010, there were said to be estimated 18,000 licensed acupuncturists in the United States. More than 40 states have set up training standards for licensing or certification to practice acupuncture. There are also about 8,000 medical doctors in the United States who have been trained to practice acupuncture. Are there risks involved in using acupuncture? When done by a trained professional, acupuncture is generally considered safe. Relatively, few complications have been reported, but there is a risk that a patient may be harmed if the acupuncturist is not well trained. Traditional needle acupuncture can cause dizziness, fainting, bruising, internal bleeding, convulsion, nerve damage and increased pain. Traditional acupuncture also poses risks such as infection from contaminated needles or improper delivery of treatment. People who are taking anticoagulants, blood thinners, may have bleeding problems with traditional needle acupuncture. People with cardiac pacemakers, infusion pumps or other electrical devices should avoid electroacupuncture. There is also the risk that an acupuncturist whose approach to diagnosis is not based on scientific concepts will fail to diagnose a dangerous condition. Likewise, relying on acupuncture alone and avoiding or delaying conventional medical care for cancer or serious illnesses may have serious health consequences. Let's do a bit of a recap. First, you read the passage carefully. Make sure you understand all the words. And once you are sure that you are familiar with all the words and understand the text, you identify the main ideas. You then look for supporting details. What we did is we put it into a table. Once we had completed this, we formed sentences. Now, let's take a look at the sentences we formed in our previous lesson. Let's take a look at the first sentence. Chinese medicine includes an array of folk medical practices. The second sentence. According to traditional Chinese medical theory, illness may happen when the energy flowing along one or more meridians is blocked or out of balance. Now the third sentence. Acupuncture is applied by inserting needles at acupoints to restore healthy energy flow to the body. The fourth sentence. There are two schools of thought about acupuncture. One believes it can cure illnesses and the other school believes it can only achieve pain relief. The fifth sentence. It is claimed 
that acupuncture can cure certain illnesses related to heart, muscle and nerve conditions. The sixth sentence. Acupuncture can be useful when combined with mainstream therapies in treating illnesses. The seventh sentence. Acupuncture is popular in the United States as proven by 18,000 licensed acupuncturists and about 8,000 medical doctors trained to practice there currently. Sentence 8. Acupuncture can cause risks if the acupuncturist is not well trained and there is contamination from used needles. The ninth sentence. Moreover, there are other risks if diagnosis not based on scientific concepts as it fails to diagnose a dangerous condition and if used alone, it may have serious health consequences. We have identified the main idea and the supporting details. We have formed sentences. Now, if you put all of these sentences together, you will create a paragraph. However, there would be too many words. So, what do you need to do? You need to paraphrase. So you look at the sentence and you try to reword the sentence in a shorter form without changing the meaning. So that is what we mean by paraphrasing. So you're going to shorten the sentence without changing the meaning. You will then put all the sentences together and you must remember that this is continuous writing. Once you have done that, count your words and if you are under or just at 130 words, you've done a good job. You may begin now. Are you done? Let's take a look at the sample answer. Sample answer. Chinese medical theory is that illnesses occur when the energy flow along the meridians is blocked. Acupuncture can restore balance to the energy flow. Needles are inserted at specific acupoints. Most acupuncturists believe it can cure illnesses while others claim it can only achieve pain relief. The conditions claimed to respond to acupuncture are related to heart, muscle and nerve conditions. It has become quite popular in the United States where there are about 18,000 licensed acupuncturists and 8,000 medical doctors trained to practice acupuncture. Acupuncture has risks if the acupuncturist is not well trained. There can be infection if contaminated needles are used. Other risks are if diagnosis is not based on scientific concepts or if acupuncture is used alone to treat cancer or other serious illnesses. So, were you able to write a summary that covered all the main ideas and the supporting details while keeping the summary below 130 words? Now, if you had any difficulty, go through the sample summary and identify the sentences that need to be changed because they were too long. Now, always remember, there are so many different ways to paraphrase a sentence without changing the meaning. So your answer does not have to be exactly the same as the sample answer. But it is important to make sure that the meaning has not changed. So you now know how to write a good summary. So, let's quickly recap before we go. Whenever you need to write a summary, read through it, identify the words you don't know. Once you have the meaning, you can go through the passage again, identify the main idea and supporting details, form sentences. Put your sentences together, paraphrase, make sure to write in continuous form. 
Now you know all the steps to writing a good summary. If you follow these steps every time, I am sure you will be able to write very good summaries. So, till I see you next time, bye-bye.